We're just a few days away from one of what's become uh, one of the biggest shopping events of the year, Amazon Prime Day, and they've kicked off a shopping sale war with Walmart, Target, and other retailers. Good for us consumers sometimes. Go. Amy Davis has the inside scoop on the kinds of deals that we can find out there. Amy, good morning. Yeah, and how to find those deals, you know, because we're hearing about new ones every day, but something that you might not know is you're not going to see the same deals as somebody else, even maybe sitting next to you, because a lot of retailers use your search history to determine what offers you see. Just understanding that can help you narrow down the best deals available. Busy mom blogger Jamie Stipple is making her list and checking it twice. Because it's like, if you save money, that's more money that you can put back into your household. Her number one tip for saving the most money on Prime Day, start looking now. They're already doing a ton of early Prime Day deals. There's gonna be lightning deals. Something else to remember is when Prime Day rolls around, there are certain deals that go on where they only have a certain amount of quantity of those deals. So maybe there's a thousand, maybe there's a hundred. And once they're claimed, they're gone. Tip number two, if you didn't get the Amazon Lightning deal in time, yeah. sign up for the wait list. Often Amazon will send you a discounted rate for the item. And tip three, check for deals on your subscribe and save items you're already signed up for. Tip four, go through Amazon and like all of the stores you might want to get deals from. You should get notified about their deals. If you select that, it will show you different products that you've searched for in the past. Now, advice from Jamie on items every parent needs to try and snag during these summer sales. First, Christmas gifts. But if you think about something that you know your child is going to want for their big present, this is a great time to invest in it and it doesn't make the holidays so overwhelming financially. Also, items for your gift stash. It's good to look for activities or toys within your child's own age range and buy a few things that are discounted because you know they're going to get invited to a birthday party. And gift cards for restaurants and popular stores where you shop throughout the year. You can keep them and say, hey, this is going to cover date night. We can go to date night and spend $100, but maybe we actually only spent 70 on the gift cards, and you can save that for later. Yeah, that perhaps is my best tip, buying those gift cards at like 30% off. So Jamie suggests that narrowing down your search by looking for curated lists from your favorite influencers or companies like Good Housekeeping. We put a few of our favorites on clicktohouston.com so you can look there. I feel like influencers will have their special discounts and other things too, maybe to go along with those lists. That's my yeah, exactly. I mean, but the deal is if you just go on Amazon and just start looking around, it's like, uh. I don't know, at least for me. Getting yeah. the weeds, I Yeah, think. you get in the weeds, exactly. Right. The gift cards thing, though, that's a good right. thing. Right, exactly. For that. Brilliant. <laughs>